Good evening everyone. In this presentation, we are going to explain our final year research project investigation of the effect of air jet texture in process parameters on slab band and knitted fabric properties. A slab band can be described as a thick place in a yarn. Also, it can be considered as a defect in a uniform yarn. But it is widely used for aesthetic purposes in the textile industry. AR jet texturing is another technique to embed a spun-like appearance onto a stand of straight filaments. Even though there are literature on conventional slab yarn manufacturing and AR jet texturing separately, AR jet textured slab yarns are not thoroughly studied. So we have identified the research gap and tried to make a platform to understand the characteristic of AR jet textured slab yarns against its process parameters. Tools and objectives of our investigation is mainly focused on to study on slab band manufacturing methods and application of air jet texturing on manufacturing slab bands and also to investigate the effect of co and effect air jet texturing process parameters on slab band properties as well as knitted fabric properties. Now the literature survey was the first step of our methodology. It has helped us in identifying the critical parameters of ARG texturing process and also in identifying the critical properties of slab bands and knitted fabrics to investigate. And also the knowledge gained from the literature survey has helped us in developing the geo slab geometrical model and slab forming mechanism for conceptual analysis. The second step, determination of setting parameters and ranges for investigation parameters were done. There, we have identified the optimum values for constant parameters and also optimum ranges for variables. Previous literature, supply specification and also conducted few test samples were used in determination of more suitable values. Here. In the image below, you can clearly see the developed slab geometrical model. With the different degrees of entanglements and different loop sizes, the slab band can be clearly divided into two sections, base yarn section and slab section. These two sections heavily involved in governing the final yarn properties and fabric properties. When it comes to the production of AIG texture slab bands, you can clearly see the five parameters we have chosen to change. Slab overfit, texturing speed, effect and overfit, co and overfit and air pressure. And also you can clearly see the values we have chosen to change. There, when the one parameter is changing, other four parameters are kept constant at their middle values. When conducting the test, we have faced few challenges. The industrial machine did not have the facility to change air pressure and also permitted time to use the industrial air jet texture machine was not enough to hold the sample preparation and also the air jet texturing machine at University of Moratua did not have a slab forming unit even though it has the facility to texture the yarn. So we have decided to develop a slab unit which can be attached to the machine at University of Moratua and also we have decided to produce only slab overfeed and texturing speed changing samples from industrial machines. You can clearly see the difference between the slab bands produced from industrial machine versus the slab band manufactured in the University of Moratua using the existing machine. Here you can see the air jet texturing machine with developed slab unit. When using that slab unit, yarn tend to break at 250 meters per minute due to low slab overfeed rate. So we have conducted few trials and determined that 150 meters per minute is the optimum value for experiment. 
when it comes to determination of the properties of produce yarn textile slab yarns we have used standard test method for yarn linear density base yarn tensile strength and base yarn elongation when it comes to slab strength and slab elongation and break we have used the same methods but the specimen length was changed to slab length when it comes to the instability measures we have used a cast instability method which was found in the literature so it can be considered as a very critical parameter to measure as it can affect the speed of knitting in the knitting stage to measure tensile properties we have conducted over 20 tests per each sample and also for linear density base yarn instability slab instability and slab length test ten test per each sample was carried out and also average standard deviation of each property was calculated and also correlation coefficient was calculated to determine the relationship between each property and the parameter you can see the table we have developed with using data analysis of the results for yarn properties yarn linear density increases with slab overfit effect overfit core fit and air pressure but with the increasing texturing speed the degree of texturizing will be reduced and also the yarn linear density will be reduced when it comes to the base yarn tensile strength texturing speed will increase the tensile strength for base yarn that is due to number of straight filaments are increased with other four parameters base yarn tensile strength will be reduced similar effect can be identified for base yarn elongation at break with the increase of num number of straight filaments texturing speed will increase the elongation at break the parameters does not have much effect on elongation at break with the increased degree of texturizing with effect of feed co feed and air pressure base yarn instability will be increased with the reduced degree of texturizing texturizing speed will reduce base yarn instability slab overfit does not have much effect on base yarn instability comes to slab strength the number of straight filaments are a important factor with texturing speed number of straight filaments will be increased with other parameters number of straight filament will be reduced with that only with texturing speed the slab strength will be increased when it comes to slab elongation at break except texturing speed other parameters will increase the degree of texturizing with that number of intermingle points will be increased with that when we are applying a load the ability to break the yarn will be increased but with the less amount of degree of texturizing with texturing speed the slab elongation at break will be increased since the number of entanglement per meter will be increasing with slab overfit effect overfit co fit and air pressure slab instability will also be increased but with the texturing speed the number of entanglement per meter will be reduced so that the texturing speed will reduce the slab instability when it comes to slab length there is no significant effect from any of these parameters when it comes to the determination of fabric properties we have predicted the knitted fabric properties using the already obtain fabric uh, yarn properties for the bursting strength abrasion resistance fabric snagging will be based on base yarn tensile strength slab strength base yarn instability slab instability and slab length according to our literature here we have plotted the changing patterns of bursting strength abrasion resistance fabric snagging according to our chosen parameters as the outcome and the benefit to the industry we have identified several areas with better fabric properties or more economical properties 
Conclusion We have pointed out the effect of AIG texture and process parameters on slab band for price and needed fabric properties. And thank you.